Okay, good morning, you guys. Today is Monday, March 4th, I think, and it is day three of my 30 day run a mile a day challenge. <laughs> so, this morning I'm just making my coffee per use with my creamer, putting a little sugar free caramel syrup in there. I got up at four this morning to work out, did not feel like it, but I always don't feel like it when I'm first starting. So, um, so I knew that that was going to be a thing. I knew I wasn't going to like be delusional and think that, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to just wake up and, you know, just really want to work out more than anything else. I didn't. Feel that way. I got up and did my devotional. I did get up at four, and it's so funny. Like I was so out of it when my alarm clock went off at four. I looked at it. You know, four o'clock is four zero zero. I was like, why is the number four hundred on my screen? <laughs> I didn't even register that it was the time because <laughs> it had been so long since I had gotten up at four. I think it was. It's been seventeen days. I think. I think it's been seventeen days. So. I hadn't got up at four, so I wasn't used to it. So I got up, I did my devotional, like had my coffee, did my devotional. So key for me is like getting everything set up the night before. Um, so I had like my coffee set up, the dishes were washed, so my coffee mug was clean. That's a lot of it. Um, and so something I didn't do last night was pack my uh, running bag. So I had to pack it this morning. So these are just some clothes I. It's about, it's around 60-ish, maybe like almost 60 degrees right now. But by the time I go out and run, um, the weather says it's supposed to be 73. So I have just some layers in here. I got my running shoes. Oh, I need my water. So this water will last me all day. Like it'll be cold all day. So I'm going to... um. I'm going to, I'll still have this by the time I go out and run, so I'm not worried about that. And then I'm just running out to get in my car, so I just have a light jacket. This is a jacket that we got for free at work. <laughs> but it's just a light jacket, so I'm gonna just bring that with me. Um, yep, yeah. so anyway, I am on my way. And I probably won't see you guys again until I'm out for my run at um, at the trail. So I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, work is over. Over. My camera looks dark, but maybe it looks fine to y'all. But we're getting re ready to run one mile. I don't feel like doing it, but it's okay because the goal is to get myself to a place to where I feel like doing it like to where I'm looking forward to it so I have my watch <sighs> I have my watch it's supposed to be I don't know what the temperature is it's supposed to be in 70 maybe 72 but it's windy and it's supposed to rain around 5 o'clock I think and it's about 337 right now so I, it's only a mile. That is what's getting me through, is that it's only a mile, and this is day three, I think. And I, you guys know, like, if you followed me for any length of time, you know I don't enjoy, I don't prefer running after work. I prefer doing it in the morning, but I'm working out in the morning. And the only reason I haven't been going in the morning is because... Um, I don't know. I haven't been wanting to run in the dark because you know how like different communities have their, um, community Facebook page, like just some of the things that people have been posting about that's been happening in the wee hours of the morning. I'm like, well, maybe I should not be out there. <laughs> so I'm like, I will go after work and see because eventually eventually um 
it'll start being light enough outside at that time of morning for me to be able to go run in the morning. But then, by then, I might have like a a routine going by then. But because I know, like, once the running club starts up again, those runs are in the evening, except for like Saturday mornings. They have a Saturday morning run. So this is what we have today. We are at the trail where I where our one our um Monday night running club usually meets at this trail, but they usually don't meet until like um 5:30, I think. Maybe 5:30, but as far as I know, they're not meeting this evening. So I'm going to just run myself and it's just a mile. Somebody might already be out there too. I see a couple cars over here. So some people might be out there already, but it's just a mile. And I don't have to go fast. I could go as slow as I want or whatever. I think today I'm going to find something like a YouTube po uh, podcast to like listen to while I'm running, but I'm not going to put headphones in. I'm just going to play it out loud so I can like be aware of my surroundings, but... I don't feel like it at all. But anyway, it's just the beginning. I will eventually feel like it. I will. I will. So I was talking to one of my, um, one of the teachers at work. And the reason why I started it is because I I was talking to him in the hallway the other day. And he was like, oh yeah, he said, I've just, he said, I've been running like 60 days. I've been running for like 60 days for the past 60 days. And he is a runner runner. Like he's a runner. He's a triathlete, all the things. And so, but he's always like, whenever he has like a big race coming up, he's always like, um, like, Oh man, my training was crappy. Like I didn't really, you know, do everything I wanted to do or whatever. And so he's like, instead of getting, instead of like scheduling a race and then like waiting to start his training, he's like, I just want to have my he he just wants to already be run fit now like instead of like I'm gonna wait until I start training and then I'll get fit while I'm training instead of doing that he's like I'm gonna like build my base now like in these short runs so he's just challenging himself to run every day at a mi at least a mile every day now mind you he'll run like four miles six miles or whatever but um if he doesn't get home till late at night he'll go out and run a mile and then come back but um so that's what I, what i got the idea from because he was like i feel so much stronger he said i feel stronger and i'm faster and i was like wow and he's already to me he's already fast you know um but he was like yeah i'm i got faster and i'm stronger because he built built that foundation you know like because run muscles like running is like not like any other activity <laughs> it's not easy like it's not easy so like when people like tell me they don't want to run like that's why i don't have a lot of running friends i don't think I, I mean i meet people in the running groups but like i don't live near them like i'm here i'm still probably about a good half hour from my house then this is like on the way home from work. So, so yeah, like my close friends, like they'll work out, but they won't run necessarily because it's tough. It's hard. It's like when you stop doing it, it's hard to get back into it. But I like to run. I like the races. I like the camaraderie at the races and things like that. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to stop talking because all I'm doing is, um, procrastinating so I'm gonna just go I'm gonna get it done and be done so that I can go home and eat because I'm super hungry so I will see you guys after I finish okay done and done friends done and done I did a mile and a half I always feel great after a run because it's like I proved I can do hard things. So the goal is to do it without stopping. So I slowed down. I did have to stop because cars were coming, so I had to cross the street, but that's it. But I did run across the street. I have two. I just have one street, so I crossed it, and then I had to cross it on the way back. So 
my goal is to keep running the entire time. No matter how slow I have to run, just make sure you keep running the entire time. That's my goal. Let me get my keys from my secret hiding place. Ladies, if you don't know, I'll tell you one day. <laughs> but you got to have a place to put your keys. All right, let me go over here. I'm going to stretch out a little bit. And so for me, like for running, the hardest part of the run is like the first half mile. It is not the easiest part. Whoops, sorry guys. It's not the easiest part. Y'all stop falling. Y'all acting up. Like you don't know how to sit up. But like, the hardest part for me is the first half mile, the first point sixty. And then I feel like I can cruise after that. Now, mind you, I'm not running super fast. But, um, wait, let me do this the right way. I'm not running super fast. But, um, but I'm being consistent. The goal is to run the entire time without walking. So today I did a mile, like a mile, like it said 1.53, so a mile and a half. And so that's what I did today. And so I'm going to um, like I'm just going to like um, try to see if doing a pre-run workout will help me acclimate a little better for that first half mile like if I already get my heart rate up if I'm already like breathing a little hard I wonder if that like will help me that's all I'm trying to say just stretch out a little while before I go home so I'm not like cramping up <laughs> Because I'm really bad at stretching before and after my run. Yeah, but I'm wondering if... If I... Um, like, work out or no. Because there's this um, video that I used to do before I went out to run. It was a video... It was like pre-run stretches. It was like a set of dynamic stretches, which are stretches in motion. Like static stretches are stretches where you stand in one spot and you just stretch. But dynamic stretches are like walking lunges or leg sweeps, things like that. Like it's stretching your muscles, but you're also in motion. So let me get in the car so I can drink my water and revel that I finished something. <laughs> let me get my water, y'all. I hope y'all know how to sit up here because but but yeah I am gonna see if doing a pre-run uh stretch like dynamic stretching routine will help like get my heart rate up a little bit and so that when I start running it's not like I'm starting from scratch right because runners um, are habitually like not good at stretching like they're not like consistent about the stretching because we want to get to the run and we want to get finished with the run but now that I've done it I never like most of the time I don't feel like running but now that I I've done it like now that I finish even like during the run I'm like okay now I feel good <laughs> like now I'm like okay I could run a little bit so so yeah, I always feel good after because I feel like I did the thing. So check. So today's run is complete. Day three is complete, you guys. So for dinner, I'm going to have my trusty um, barbecue chicken salad and water. And I should be good. And then for lunch today, they had like pulled barbecue pork. So I had that with a side of coleslaw. So I didn't do any carbs. Um, like any like bread carbs or like simple carbs, I should say. 
Um, so I didn't do that. So I'm really um, lowering my carb intake this month. So like these 30 days in March, I say 30 because I started on the second. So these 30 days, so my friend today, she said, oh, so you're eating meat again? I was like, yep, for these 30 days. Because my plan is to, like, I'm presuming that by April, like the running clubs will start going again. So I'll be putting in like more miles. And also this summer, I think I want to um, train with the Chicago Marathon runners. I think I want to do that. Um, this this summer like I'm not trying I'm not trying to you know run the Chicago Marathon but I like the training like you get this training plan maybe I'll do the half marathon training plan but, but you still get to run with them so maybe I'll do the half marathon training plan because in September I'm supposed to be running a Ragnar relay and that is a I think it's a 12 person relay and it like goes like all night like overnight like all day all night and so I've paid already. And so the um, coordinator, he has like several teams under him. So I've paid my portion already. And so all I'm, all I got to do now is just wait for um, him to like, because I think he wants to set up days for us to like kind of run together, like train together because it's a trail race. So it's not on the roads like this. It's not on like pavement. It's on like, like dirt it's on dirt honey dirt so which is a little different than running on the paved roads so I think he wants to like set up some trail runs for us to do together so that we can you know just kind of meet each other because I don't know who's on my team I have no clue who's on my team but I think it'll be a great time I think it'll be a great time uh um in the uh coordinator for uh, for the teams like for our our teams he is part of the chicago uh black runners what is it called chicago black runners i think i don't know i don't know what the group is called but he's part of that group so i think it's gonna be all black people on the team which i don't typically run with black people because i don't know it like the where i live that's just not who's around there and so, um, so that'll be fun, I think. And the race itself is up in Wisconsin. Is Wisconsin up? Yeah, I think it's up. Wisconsin is up in Wisconsin, and it's in September. So um, everybody has to run. So I don't know if it's 12 people. So maybe it's a, a team of six and a team of... I think that's what it is. Maybe it's two teams of six. I should probably figure out what's what's what <laughs> that's what I should do but I think we run two to three times so I could run so I know this one guy because I was seeing some of the like conversation between some of the people and this one guy was like um he was like I want to run he's he wanted to run first because I think the first leg is like three miles so he was like well make sure I run the three mile and the five mile because I think there's five miles and there's seven miles. There might be an eight mile. Um, I'm not sure. So he wants to like make sure that he, I think, run some of the shorter legs, which, you know, that's fine. Like, you know, but hopefully, hopefully my conditioning will be up. I really do want to, um, I, I want to run well. Like, I don't want to just do it. I want to run it well. You know, I want to feel good. I want to you know, be faster. I want to be well conditioned. I just want to do a good job for me and for my team, you know? So, so yeah, that is that. So I'm going to wrap up this day, wrap it up. <laughs> I'm going to wrap up this day of, um, running. I've accomplished my goals for the day. I worked out this morning. I'm eating low carb and, I ran this afternoon and I got it in before it started raining. It's supposed to rain about five. It's 419 now. So, um, so yeah, so it's a good day. So I will check in with y'all tomorrow.